Welcome to Encompass Healthcare, and today's delightful outcome belongs to Jean C. Mrs. C had herself one difficult time with an infected knee joint. It's unfortunate, but happens about two out of a hundred times people have their knee replaced. And she was infected with an organism called Staph aureus, and initially we used antibiotics and surgical debridement. After about six weeks, unfortunately, this incision was draining, her knee was swollen, and there was a lot of pain, and she was a bit discouraged. In fact, we were thinking of even replacing her knee through a very complicated surgical procedure, a two-step procedure where the knee joint is removed, antibiotics are given, and then it's replaced. Having thought about that a little more carefully, we offered hyperbaric oxygen therapy, and after 20 treatments, look at this. It's as good and fresh and as though she had one surgery and never a complication. Okay. Our question today now is, how long do we need to continue you on intravenous antibiotics? That was my big question. And the answer to that is I'd like to continue them until two weeks goes by where there's no improvement, where we have essentially got the same outcome and how it feels um, today as we do two weeks from today. Right now what I've been seeing is there's been gradual improvement each and every time we've seen you. And this is the best I've seen you. So we want to know if this is the best we're going to get. So what we're going to do is continue this for two more weeks. And if it's no different in two weeks than it is today, we'll stop your intravenous antibiotics and we'll use oral antibiotic suppression probably indefinitely so that Mrs. C can keep her knee. Question. Will I be going back to the hyperbaric chamber? Is it necessary? I'm going to say no right now. Oh, good. 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 So if after two weeks there's no difference, then I'm stopping your IVs, I'm putting you on pills, and we're calling it a day. Great. Now, difference meaning better or worse? What? Either way. Either way. Okay. If it's better, we continue. Really? Because we want to continue to get complete suppression of bacteria until there's nothing there other than mm -hmm. what your body can control with pills. Well, now, will that, the numbers show that? No. No. Okay. This is all you. Okay. There's nothing that, that uh, a lab or a non-invasive study like a CAT scan mm -hmm. or a uh, MRI can help us with here. Okay. It's all clinical. It's what you tell me. Okay, great. So if you tell me between now and next week, it's really nothing I can say is different. I mean, it changed a little each day this way and that way, but all in all, if we blinked our eyes and we were back two weeks, it would be pretty much the same story. So, in any case, I think you're doing beautifully. Great. All I know is no drainage, closed up. Now, if I wanted to go in the pool, could I? Yep. I could? Yes. Get that pool cleaned up, Bob. It's going to be 91 Sunday. Bob, get the clean. Get yeah, the pool cleaned up, cleaned up Bob. I saw it a little green today. I'm not used to that. Bob, get the pool cleaned I don't have up. Time. I got to take care of you. <laughs> no, no, she's good. I'm good. Bob, you can get the pool cleaned up. That's right. Bob, doctor's orders. Kitty, write another doctor's script for Bob off. to get the pool cleaned up. Doctor's <laughs> coming over to clean it. <laughs> yeah, there you go. There you go. Right. Yeah, that's fine. All right, Thank so you. that's it.